Hi, I'm Laurie Smith and I work at ITV. I'm responsible for directing the iDents. iDents are so important for the branding of ITV4. But we wanted ours not just to reflect the content on the channel, but we wanted to actually use loyal fans, people that really, really enjoy the shows. So what better way to do this than get the real fans of the channel to appear in our new iDents? What we've just shot is our very first ident on our very first morning of a six day shoot. One of the nicest days at work was definitely calling the guys who got through and letting them know that we're going to fly them to Cape Town. I felt like I'd given them a winning lottery ticket, it was so exciting. We just had to do this little drill on camera where we turned from an average person into a superhero. A man leans against uh, his laundry while a sheet billows behind him. Nice. We just went into it. The whole rebrand's about real people. To be told that we were brought out to South Africa, to Cape Town, uh, to do filming was just mind-blowing. Still thought it was a wind-up till I got on the plane. You know, these guys are real people, obviously they're not actors. We've really been made to feel like, like we're superstars. I'd like to do it every week. The biggest challenge we just had was the cape. Bit of special effects on the cape, billowing, it's been reasonably hard. We had three different people with air cannons and fishing lines on the end of the cape. A lot of trial and error, but we got there in the end. Hi, I'm Paul Smith. I'm here in a beautiful park in South Africa in Cape Town. I'm going to be filming a kung fu scene. My name's Mo Marie. I'm a stunt coordinator. We're rigging some uh, flying rigs here. It's a kung fu fight sequence between two guys. I'm still pinching myself as to, <laughs> as to what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, it was my first time being a ninja. I'm not as bendy as I thought I was. I always thought I was quite bendy, but I'm not quite bendy. We've set up two scaffold towers for the travel rig so we can lift them up and flip them around. The two guys that we've chosen to be in this, when I told them what they'd be doing, they were absolutely thrilled. Best part, just being on the wire, throwing some judo kicks down, chopping around, having a good time. I think they've come 7,000 miles and they couldn't have been happier. Adrenaline pumping stuff, it was cool, really good stuff. I didn't realise how much equipment and crew and things like that was needed just to film a 30 second ident. This ident is an average five-a-side football team. They've won a small league. They're going to celebrate as if they've won the World Cup. Ordinary people in amazing situations. When I was initially told we were going to use real people, you've always got a little bit worried because performing in front of a camera can be quite challenging for people. But everyone's got into it. We've got some really beautiful reactions. I'll be as captain. Handed the trophy and we'll celebrate like mad, like we've just won the World Cup. That's what I aim to do, to celebrate. <laughs> because we're going for multiple takes of the pyrotechnics and all the explosions, that creates quite a big mess which takes quite a long time to reset. You know, guys have got to hoover up all the ticker tape and reset all the cannons, you know, it all takes time really. Hi guys, I'm Pete Ribstrand. I'm doing the hosts and effects on the iDents. We just finished doing a shot for the Tour de Garage. It was the pickup shop that will go inside the television. The guys are setting up the steady cam to go on the front of the tracking vehicle so that we can follow a load of cyclists down the road. And I'll be compositing that into the screen here with fantastic use of my tiny little tracking markers. We're filming a sequence and it's going to be me on the bike and it's with all the camera trickery, it's going to make it look like I'm in the Tour de France. Okay, we're at the location where we're going to do the walking away from an explosion. My name's Dave Broughton. I went onto the internet and saw the advert for iDents. Before I knew it, I was in South Africa. It's not a small explosion, you know. Anything bigger than two, three meters, it's all just big. Getting a little bit more worried now. <laughs> We're shooting in slow motion so that'll look more dramatic. The director wants to ramp the shot so it goes from normal speed to slow motion when the explosion happens. 
I weren't here, I'd be somewhere cold and rainy and I would be on a train going towards a boring job. We've seen this in all our best films. I mean, every guy was there, walk away from an explosion in slow motion looking cool. This is day five of the shoot. We are in a fabulous disused warehouse where we're filming the car going through the cardboard boxes. There's so much involvement with everybody from, you know, from catering, wardrobe, people just about, you know, it's nothing what you think it would be. Car will smash through, skid to a halt, and they'll start picking those boxes up and putting them together again because they want to do it all over again. The biggest problem with this whole ident was finding a car. The Capri that I've never had. The production managed to get hold of a silver Capri only because collectors had imported them over here and the search is well worth it. It's quite a diversity of education in there on the ITV4. I really like Minder. The damaged criminals is always good to watch. Seen things on TV that you want to do. I've done it now. Brilliant. I'm Stuart. I'm Wes. I'm out here in Cape Town filming the new ITV4 Ident. We're meant to be detectives and we get a call on the radio and literally we just have to jump over the bonnet and we love it so much we just carry on yeah. and on and on. I'm a criminal that's running away from the cops. Well, I think he's short, Connor. I'm, I'm fat, Bob. <laughs> I'm amazed at the amount of people, the amount of time, the amount of kit. We've been very clever by bringing the rain from the special effects company. We've got some rain bars and we've done a wet down so the guys can skid smoothly off and on it. Feeling like a Hollywood film star for all of one hour. It's been pretty awesome. Oh, she's up. I'm Sid Salant. And I'm in the lovely sunny Cape Town. It's a really amazing location. Sort of like a pool party thing, like a rock star thing. And all good rock star parties need a Rolls Royce. That's pretty amazing. We've just chugged it into a swimming pool. And I was just like, what? No, this can't be right. The guy who in the pool is apparently my boyfriend. We've shot loads of plates today. We've shot a whole lot of elements that I've got to put together later on. So I'd sum up this experience. I had a bit of everything, a bit of sport, kung fu fighting, had explosions, a Rolls Royce into a pool. The real people were amazing. I've really enjoyed working with them. We're here in South Africa. <laughs> we can only hope that everything that we've put into these idents do come through. We're fans of the genres on the channel. And whatever happens next, best day of my life, ever. So we finished filming three weeks ago, we came back from South Africa and everything's looking really good but we have a lot of post-production work to do. Well we've had everything graded and the data is now on the flame suite that I'm working on now. We've got to go through and make these look as beautiful as possible. We've got all the eye dents where we want them to be and now we can make them look even more beautiful with effects work and with grading so right now this is the start of a really exciting process.